Thank you for joining us in the Yetter Solutions Center. Our Solutions Center videos discuss, explore, and evaluate the latest Yetter innovations while tackling the tough agronomy issues our industry faces. This is a very quick video to help illustrate the installation procedures for the stock devastator. Start by attaching the torsion blocks in between the rows using the 16 millimeter bolts and threaded straps. There are 110 and 120 millimeter long bolts. It's not important which you use for this application. If you have a narrow row head, remove two of the gearbox bolts and one strap from one side. Attach the torsion block with the 120 millimeter bolts going into the gearbox. Then use the 110 millimeter bolts to attach the other side of the torsion block under the row unit using the threaded strap. Do not use the 120 millimeter bolts here or it will damage the gearbox. Install the arm on one side of the torsion block and the spacer on the other side. Attach it with a three quarter inch bolt and a thick washer on each side. Install the square tube that holds the roller using the U bolts and lock nuts. Ensure that the tab that supports the bearing is on the back side or towards the combine. Put the shim washer over the square shaft on the roller, followed by the bearing making sure the protruding side of the bearing is facing the roller. Attach it with half inch bolts and lock nuts. For more in-depth steps to help with your installation, you can check out our manual section on our website. Plus, we do have longer videos that go over each step more in-depth to help with the installation process. Thanks for joining us today. Be sure to check out the complete Yetter Solutions Center playlist at youtube.com slash yetterco. And as always, we're here to help you find profitable solutions for your operation. If you need more information or have a topic idea for a future episode, drop an email to our Solution Center team at solutions at yettercoe.com.